researchers at the University of Toledo published an article on the 25th of April 2023. The researchers concluded that exposure to pyrethroids may increase the risk of autism and other developmental disorders, even at levels currently recognized as safe by federal regulators. The findings suggest that the safe level of the pesticide needs to be revisited for pregnant women and children, as pyrethroids are widely used in consumer products and industrial preparations, as well as for landscaping and mosquito control. How did the researchers come to their conclusion? The researchers examined the offspring of female mice who were exposed to small doses of the pyrethroid insecticide deltamethrin before, during, and immediately after pregnancy. They compared these mice to control mice to analyze the specific behavioral changes attributable to low-level exposure to pyrethroids. The researchers found that the mice exposed to the insecticide exhibited increased hyperactivity and repetitive behaviors, less vocalization, and were more likely to fail basic learning tests compared to controls. They also experienced disruptions in their dopamine system. The researchers suggest that these changes may indicate an increased risk of autism and other developmental disorders in humans exposed to pyrethroids. What did the researchers say? Our study, however, adds to the evidence that these chemicals might not be as safe for children and pregnant women as we once believed. Dr. James Burkett, Assistant Professor of Neuroscience in the University of Toledo College of Medicine and Life Sciences. These are all similar to symptoms human patients with neurodevelopmental disorders might have. What we are saying is that something in their brain has been altered by this exposure and it's resulting in the same kinds of behaviors that we see in children with autism. Research has traditionally focused on genetics, but it's come to be appreciated there's also a significant environmental element. That's why this kind of research is so important. You can't change someone's genetics, but you can address environment factors. I hope you found this summary interesting, but don't take my word for it. To read the full article I've included a link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for medical news and information from reputable sources. See you next time.